Hello and thanks for joining us. This is a Signature TV News Update. I am Brenda Etta. In the headlines, Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, to collaborate with young engineers for job opportunities. Tied security as El Zazaki's trial continues in Kaduna. Nigeria records highest daily cases in four months. And now, the details. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, has pledged to collaborate and work with young engineers in Nigeria to provide job opportunities in the aviation sector. The Director General and Chief Executive Officer of the NCAA, Captain Musa Nuhu, stated this in Abuja on Tuesday when he received an award from Nigerian Engineering Youth for good governance, for his professional and excellent performance in the aviation sector. Signature TV correspondent Nasiru Usman was at the event and now reports. The Director General and Chief Executive Officer of Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, Captain Musa Nuhu, has received an award of excellence for his performance in the aviation sector. Presenting the award, the National Chairman Nigerian Engineering Youth for Good Governance, Engineer Adam Suleiman, said the award was presented to the director general for his wonderful performance since assuming office as the director general i like to sincerely thank you and uh, appreciate uh, this award it means uh, it means a lot to me and uh, not just personally but at least uh, a, a good organization like you has recognized some of the good works we are trying to do for the improvement of our nation it is our country and it's only us that can do there's no woman that will come and fix our country. We have to do it. So we do sincerely appreciate and um, uh, we hope we can have a means of collaborating with your organization. Since you are engineers, we have engineers. We have a lot of engineers here. And we we'll have a way so that we can now work together. In his remarks, Captain Nohu thanked and appreciated the group for their wonderful work in the country, saying the management will look forward to collaborating and working with the group. The award ceremony at in attendance, members of the Nigerian Engineering Youth for Good Governance, top officials of the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority and journalists. In Abuja, Nasir Usman for Signature TV. Sheikh Ibrahim El Zazaki, the embattled leader of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, IMN, and his wife Zina were brought to Kaduna State High Court today in continuation of his trial for culpable homicide, unlawful assembly, and disruption of public peace. The case between the IMN and the Kaduna State Government has been ongoing for three years, and this would be the Islamic cleric and his wife's second court appearance. The Kaduna State High Court set July 28 as a date for ruling on the no-case submission filed by the counsel for Sheikh Ibrahim El Zazaki and his wife, challenging the charges leveled against them by the Kaduna State Government. Roads leading to the Kaduna State High Court were blocked and there were heavy security presence around the court during today's appearance of the cleric and his wife. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, on Tuesday disclosed that it has recorded its highest daily count on COVID-19 infections in the last four months. This is its latest update on the outbreak with a total of 404 new cases recorded. This makes it the biggest daily increase in the country since March 4, when 708 cases were confirmed, raising the total number to 171,728. The nation's hardest hit metropolis, Lagos, recorded an alarming 356 new infections, trumping the previous day's record of 157. However, a bit of respite was gained with no death recorded from the disease on Tuesday, still keeping the death tally at 2,134. In business, the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has explained that the 36 million border bridge projects linking Nigeria with the Republic of Cameroon will smoothen the free trade relationship under the African International Free Trade Agreement, ACFTA, signed by both countries. Fashola disclosed this on Tuesday while inspecting the bridge project at the Ajasa border community in a Tong local government area of Cross River States. 
He added that the project, which has attained 99.9% .9 completion, would advance the actualization of the objective of the agreement. Speaking at the inspection, Fashola added that the current administration plans to renew and expand old infrastructure that will take the two countries to the future for many more decades and strengthen the relationship between them. On the foreign scene, Islamic State group jihadists killed at least seven soldiers and militia men in eastern Syria on Wednesday, the latest in a series of deadly attacks, a Britain-based war monitor said. Several government positions came under attack in a desert area of Deir Azor province, the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said. Several troops were also wounded, some of them critically, while five jihadists were also killed. A Kurdish-led offensive overran the last patch of IS-held territory in Syria in March 2019, but sleeper cells continued to launch attacks in the vast deserts that stretches from central Syria east to the Iraqi border. Now to the world of entertainment. Blessing Adeja is here to take us through. Hello, wonderful people. It's a girl blessing Adeja. Welcome to another segment of entertainment news. Nigerian music veteran Oyeka Uwenu says she wants a quiet but befitting burial. The veteran made this known in a newspaper article. She wrote that she told a friend just days before the most outrageous burial of Obi Kubana's mother in Oba, Anambara State in July that she had given her family instructions to bury her quickly, quietly and privately when the time comes. She, however, cleared the air about her thoughts on the lavish spending during the burial of the year. That is, the socialite Obi Onyegu, also known as Obi Kubana, held for his late mother, admitting that she didn't condemn the act. Nollywood actress Georgina Onoha had advised motivational speakers who live up men to stop giving false narrative on how they work hard. The movie star who obtained a new degree made this known via Instagram page on Wednesday. While sharing her thoughts on why some people do not reveal too much on social media, she advised those who live off men to enjoy the money given to them by men and also let the world know where the money came from. This one loud go. Award-winning media personality Toke Makinwa has been confirmed as the host of the new show Max Big Brother Ninja exclusive talk show BBN Season 6, The Booze. The show exclusive to show Max subscriber will premiere August 3rd, 2021. The new show will show Toke Makinwa share opinions on happening from the ongoing Shine Your Eye season. Toke Makinwa shared on hosting the new show in her words, I am unfiltered. This is almost like the unfiltered version of Big Brother where we bring you weekly highlights. So I'm looking forward to them messing up. I'm looking forward to them creating more drama because that way my show gets even more interesting. Show Max subscriber will get access to stream the show 24-7 as well as exclusive secret diary room rant sections from the house meet daily and weekly highlights oh nice initiative the season you all have to shine your eyes and this is where we draw the curtain for today i remain your uncle blessing at the job bye in sports Swiss sprinter Alex Wilson has been suspended from the Olympics game after failing a drugs test. The Athletics Integrity Unit, AIU, said on Wednesday, the 30-year-old Jamaican-born sprinter tested positive for the band steroid Trenbolone in an out-of-competition test on March 15. Wilson had initially challenged the test results, arguing that the drug was contained in contaminated beef he ate at a Jamaican restaurant in the United States. He was provisionally suspended in March. However, a Swiss Olympic disciplinary panel lifted his suspension in early July. The World Anti-Doping Agency and Athletics Integrity Unit appealed their decisions to the Court of Arbitration for Sports, which on Wednesday 
upheld initial suspension. Wilson made headlines on July 18 after appearing to clock a blistering 9.84 sec for the 100M at a meeting in the United States. But the time has not been ratified amidst doubts about its veracity. Before we end the news, a recap of our major stories. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority has promised to collaborate with youth engineers in the creation of job opportunities for youth in the country. There was tight security in Kaduna on Wednesday as El Zazaki's trial continued in Kaduna. Nigeria has recorded the highest daily cases of COVID-19 in four months. Safety and security begin with you. Be patriotic. Report any suspicious activity to law enforcement agencies. Please stay safe. That's the Signature TV News updates. On behalf of my producer, Nasir Usman, I am Brenda Etta. Thanks for watching.